Namaskar. Hope you all are well and many of us have already been vaccinated, isn't it? So we are getting a ray of hope to get out of this pandemic situation. So meditate, exercise, listen to music, gardening, spend time with family and feel the nature in positive way. Now coming to our web series. Thanks to motivate our team to work more hard on this web series and to bring much more information on the life, deeds and sacrifices of Dr. Shyamal Prashad Mukherjee in front of all of you. Your support and interest on this web series motivate us much more as a thanks to all of you. Keep watching, subscribing and liking our channel more and more. Namaskar. Now coming to one of the most biggest sad part of this red cliff line or of this bengal partition was the displacement of thousands and thousands of hindu refugees from bangladesh to india just because of being in a certain religious community they had to leave their property thousands and thousands of people who were well doing in Bangladesh had to leave their property and all of a sudden they found themselves as a refugee even across the areas of Calcutta but in to the contrary when the Muslims of West Bengal started going to Bangladesh they did not have to face any such problem because they were not attacked by Hindus in the way the same opposite thing happened in Bangladesh where the Muslims attacked the Hindus. Mukherjee successfully turned Jinnah's argument for partition of India on his hate for the partition of Bengal. If 35% of Muslims cannot live in India with 62% Hindus, there was no way that 42% Hindus can stay in a Bengal with 54% of Muslims, asserted Mukherjee. It is said that when Jinnah lamented the loss of West Bengal to Mount Batten, the latter pointed out that Mukherjee had paid Jinnah back in his own coin. Jinnah's arguments for partition of India to create a separate homeland for Muslims was used by Mukherjee to make a strong case for a separate homeland for Bengali Muslims. Why Shama Prashad Mukherjee opposed the United Bengal plan, historians of Bengal partition agreed that the Calcutta riots were by far the most cataclysmic event leading to the partition of the region. Written by Adrija Rao Choudhury, edited by Explan Dix at Indian Express New Delhi. For Mukherjee, the idea of a united Bengal was not appealing because he believed that a sovereign undivided Bengal would be a virtual Pakistan. India and Pakistan led a world to reprocate the abducted woman 
Muslim women were to be sent to Pakistan and Hindu and Sikh women to India. Who divided India and Pakistan map? So these are the questions that what comes in mind when we actually go and talk about this uh, uh, Dr. Shyam Shah Mukherjee. Now what exactly happened? Let's hear that. So the Reddit life line was the boundary demarcation line between the India and Pakistan portion of the Punjab and Bengal provinces of British India. Why did British officials partition India and Pakistan? Why did British officials partition India uh, into India and Pakistan? British officials soon became convinced that partition, an idea first proposed by India's Muslim, would be the only way to ensure a safe and secure religion. Partition was the term given to the division of India into separate Hindu and Muslim nations. How much money did India give to Pakistan during partition? The original unsettled claim from Pakistan was rupees, that is INR 49.8 crore, but it swelled to over rupees. 560 crores after adjusting for inflation and exchange rate revision. Partition was caused in the two nation theory presented by Syed Ahmed Khan. The main spokesperson for the partition was Muhammad Ali Jinnah. During the partition, between 75,000 and 1 lakh women were kidnapped and raped accordingly. Jinnah, as a British agent who advocated for the creation of Pakistan, the actual figure of death in partition, 2 lakh to 2 million deaths, 10 to 20 million displaced. India gave 55 crore of rupees to Pakistan during partition. After 300 years in India, British finally left. The subcontinent was partitioned into two independent nation states. Choudhury Rahmat Ali, the man who conceived the idea of Pakistan. 73 years later, survivors recall the horrors of India-Pakistan partition. We personally remember so many incidences where there were landlords in Bangladesh who were owning acres of lands and having servants who were Muslims and all of a sudden they had to leave all this property and found themselves across the line of fire. That is the biggest misery of the partition of India. I believe that is still why India goes through that depression created and stimulated by the cosmetic ideas of Mountbatten, Nehru, under the pressure of Jinnah. So friends, this is a reality and this is a real history of Bengal. And even today, we found populations which are going to increase every day just because of that influx. So this is how the country is still suffering out of the overburden created by the wrong ideas or the cosmetic ideas of our the then leaders who created the idea of partition. Thank you so much. So I believe that's the pain and the agony which is still there in the minds of those people who really suffered in that time. Hi guys, I have just gone ahead and finished up today's episode with the partition of India and Pakistan. You definitely heard today what exactly happened, what were the facts during this. So, these episodes doesn't affect any religion views or discriminate any caste or religion views or neither for any political views. 
we are here with all the real facts of Dr. Shyam Prashad Mukherjee. What exactly happened in his real life? So that's all from my end. And I would like to thank all the background members who are working behind these episodes with the editing, with the creativity, with the camera, with the photographer and uh, with the different scenes and other things, other research parts. So I would like to thank each and every one of you for viewing us, for watching us. We would request you to please subscribe our National Icon channel on the YouTube, on the Facebook and on another social media platform. That's all from my end guys today. Jai Hind, Jai Bharat.